discuss about automotive industry in India in this segment. The automotive industry in India is one of the largest in the world and one of the fastest growing globally. India's passenger car and commercial vehicle manufacturing industry is the seventh largest in the world with an annual production of more than a million units in 2011. The automobile segment, there are four board categories of vehicles. First, two wheelers and three wheelers. Second, passenger vehicles. Third, commercial vehicles. And fourth, special application vehicles. Two wheeler segment. It is the most popular personal transport account for about 75% of the total automobile production in India, where motorcycle segment is about 78%, rest is scooties and mofets segment. More than 5.4 million two wheelers are produced in our country every year. India is the second largest producer of two-wheeler in the world. In the last few years, the India two-wheelers industry has seen spectacular growth. Our country stands next to China and Japan in terms of production and sales respectively. Majority of Indians prefer motorbikes for easy communication and also look stylish and enhance mileage for both men and women. Now comes to benefits of two wheelers. The trend of owning two wheelers is due to their economical price, safety, fuel efficiency and comfort level. Now how can identify the two wheelers? You can identify the makes of two wheelers by the sticker or logo fix on body. Popular brands of two wheelers manufacturers are Hero, Honda, Bajaj etc. And most popular high speed bikes are Suzuki Hayabusa, Kawasaki Ninja, Suzuki Zeus and Honda Unicorn etc. Now comes to three wheelers. A three wheelers is a vehicle which three wheels either human or people power vehicles or motorized vehicles in the form of a tri motorcycle all trains vehicles or automobiles auto rickshaw auto Autorickshaws are comes all over india and provides cheap and efficient transportation typical mileage for an indian made auto rickshaw is around 35 kilometers per liter of petrol. Many major nationalized bank in India offers loan to self-employed individuals seeking to buy auto rickshaws. Auto rickshaw manufacturers in India include Bajaj Auto, Kumars Motors, Kerala Auto Limited, Force Motors, Mahindra and Mahindra, TVS Motors. There are two types of auto rickshaw in India. In older version, the engine were situated below driver's seat. In newer versions, engine are in rear position. They normally run on petrol, CNG and diesel also. The seating capacity of a normal rickshaw is 4, including the driver. There are also 6 seating rickshaws in parts of Mahindra. In cities and towns across India, it is the backbone of city transport. Normally, the fare rates are controlled by government. Many three-wheelers which exist in the form of motorcycle-based machines are called tricks and often have the front single wheel and machine similar to that of a motorcycle and the rear axle similar to that 
of a car. Sometimes such vehicles are own controlled using a portion of a rear engine, rear drive, Volkswagen belt in combination with a motorcycle front end. Morgan Motors company construct one wheel at the back and two wheel at the front three wheeled automobile that are specially constructed for off-road use. TVS Motors is the third largest motorcycle company in India but also competes in the three wheelers segment with its TVS King Auto. Loha Auto Industries is an Indian company that manufacturing electric two wheelers and diesel three wheelers. Tempo company was popular for producing vans like the Matadors and the Tempo handset. Now comes to passenger vehicles and commercial vehicles. Passenger vehicles refers to a machine that can carry a person or a group of persons. There are several types of passenger vehicles like cars, jeeps, tempos, etc. You must have seen various models of passenger vehicles in your village, town or city. You must have also travelled in these passenger vehicles. Passenger vehicles account for nearly 16% of the production in India. More than 3.7 million automotive vehicles were produced in India in 2020, making the country the second fastest growing automobile market in the world. According to the Society of India, automobile manufacturers' annual vehicle sales are projected to increase to 5 million by 2015 and to more than 9 million by 2020. By 2050, the country is expected to be at the top the world in car volume with more than 600 million vehicles on the nation's roads. Now comes at car. A car or a motor car is a wheeled motor vehicle used for transporting passenger which also carries its own engine or motors. Various popular car in India are Maruti Suzuki, Tata Motors, Hyundai, etc. Nowadays various car manufacturers of industrial level have established in our country and started production of cars. In this segment, Jeep was first produced by Willys Overland. Jeep celebrated its 70th anniversary in 2011 and it is the oldest off-road vehicle and SUV in the world. It is mark of Chrysler brand. It is mainly used for its excellent off-road capabilities and was primarily constructed to military requirements. It is part of Chrysler Group LLC which is now part of Fiat Italy. The models in Jeep range are Jeep Patriot, Jeep Compass, Jeep Liberty, Jeep Commander and Jeep Wengler. In this segment, commercial vehicles is a type, type of major vehicles that may be used for transport of goods as well passengers. Commercial vehicles influence the trade, commerce and industry of a country in a major way. Vehicles filling under this category are mainly bus and trucks. It comes in various uses such as transportation of goods, shipping and handling 
of various commodities and so on. Trucks are basically used for carrying goods and materials in bulk. These trucks are classified into sub categories depending on their size and functional uses. Rigid trucks, trippers, cabs, delivery vans and trailers. The major players of truck manufacturers in India are Ashok Leyland, Acher, Tata Motors and Suraj Mazat. A bus is a huge commercial vehicle said to have organized in France in the year 1826 designed by Stanislas Baudry under the name of Omnibus. The basic purpose of this vehicle is carry the passenger as it is an easy and cost effective medium of the transport. The major producers of bus in India is Ashok Leyland and Tata Motors, Suraj Mazda, Volvo and Hindustan Motors have made a big name in manufacturing buses and minibuses. However, there are huge subcategories of buses like computer bus, school bus, electric bus and so on. CNG buses have occupied a huge market thus marketing it fuel efficient and environmental friendly vehicle. In the agriculture vehicle segment, tractor is an important part in agriculture specially designed to deliver a high attractive effort at slow speed. For the purpose of hewing a trailer or machinery used in agriculture or construction. The word tractor is taken from Latin being the agent noun of trailer means to pull. The first recorded use of the word meaning occurred in 1901, displacing the earlier term traction engine in 1859. India being one of the major agriculture country makes the use of tractors on a large scale. It is one of the harvest vehicle, basically used for carrying out the agriculture takes in an effective way. Major tractors usually employ diesel engine with deliver 18 to 575 horsepower. The major producer of tractors in India are Ashok Leyland, HR, Force Motor and Suraj Enterprise. The most common use of the term tractor is the vehicle used on farms. The durability and engine power of tractors make them very suitable for engineering tasks. Tractors can be fitted with engineering tools such as dozer blades, buckets, hoses, reapers, etc. The most common attachments for the front of a tractor are dozer blades or buckets. When Attached to engineering tools, the tractors is called engineering vehicles. Combine harvester. The combine harvester or simply combine is a machine that harvests grain cobs. The name drives from the fact that it combines three separate operations into a single process. Among the cobs harvest with a combine are wheat oats, barley, corn, soybean, and etc. Combined harvesters are one of the most economically important labor saving inventions, enabling a simple small fraction of the population to be engaged in agriculture. In construction equipment vehicles, lot of new roads Houses and plants are being built those days. You must have seen big machines are reached the construction site to dig earth. 
there are special purpose automobiles and are sometimes called earth moving equipments there are several types of earth moving or construction equipments such as dumpers dozer road rollers tillers and excavators bulldozer a bulldozer is a crawler equipped with a substantial metal plate used to push large quantities of soil sand rubble or other such material during construction work and typically equipped at the rear with a crow like device to lose density compacted materials the term bulldozer is often used erroneously to mean any heavy equipment but precisely the term refers only a tractor fitted with a dozer blade the tracks gives them excellent ground hold and mobility through very rough turning white trucks help distribute the bulldozer white over the large area thus preventing it from sinking in sandy or muddy ground the caterpillar t9 for example can easily tow tanks that weight more than 70 tons road roller a road roller is a compact type engineering vehicle used to compact solid gravel concrete or asphalt in the construction of roads and foundations similar rollers are used also at land fields or in agriculture road roller use the weight of the vehicle to compress the surface being rolled or used mechanical advantage caterpillar 815 or 825 series machine would be used due to its high weight speed and the powerful pushing force to spread bulk materials in the dumper is a vehicle designed for carrying bulk materials often on building site dumpers are designed for dump trucks by configuring a dumper is usually an open four wheel vehicle with a load kept in front of the driver while a dumper trucks has its car in front of the load the kip can tip to dump the load this is where the name dumper comes from modern dumpers have play loads up to 10 tons and usually steers by articulating at the middle of the chassis special vehicles automobile technologies has several other application also we shall now get acquainted with some of these special applications you would have all traveled by a train railway located locomotive is basically an automobile but much bigger than a car bus or a truck in the beginning trains are pulled by locomotives with were powered by steam nowadays most rail engines run on diesel fuel or electricity in india rail is a very important means of transportation of goods and passengers as you know that a train cannot run on roads but runs on a railway tracks many of you must have also seen big machines which have long extended arms for reaching high rise building 
or top of the electric poles. These are mounted on an automobile and the complete machine is called crane. Sometimes you may, may have seen traffic police using a crane to lift cars which are wrongly parked. Another interested application of an automobile is the forklift. A forklift is used mostly in industry and in large warehouse for carrying components and goods within the premises of the factory or a godown or warehouse. So a forklift is normally used for carrying goods for very short distance within the four wheels of a building but no, never on the outside on the road. When liquids like water, milk, oil, petrol, diesel etc. are required to be transport to long distance it is done in tankers. These tankers have very big cylinders mounted horizontally on the chassis of a special built automobile. Capacity of these tankers can vary. Somewhere you may have seen the sign. This is a warning sign written on the tankers that carry violet, violet fluid like petrol and diesel. This warning is to caution people on the road that they should not bring any ignited object like matchstick or firecrackers near the tankers. It may be noted that sometimes those tankers are also mounted on railway trains. Also you may have seen picture of tankers on a ship, picture of some of important special equipment such as fire brigade, trawler etc has been shown for your preferences. Thank you for watching this video.